Hi, welcome to the Pompano Beach Club in Southampton, Bermuda. Hi, welcome to Pompano Beach Club. My name is Larry Lamb. I'm the general manager, and uh, it is wonderful to have you here today. Uh, Pompano itself started back in 1956. We were the island's first fishing club, and my father, who was an American, uh, as well as his two best friends who were Bermudians, originally bought kind of a non-working farm. And in 1956, as seniors in college basically developed it into a small little fishing club. We are on the western side of the island, so we're actually the closest point to the deep sea fishing grounds. So it's kind of ideal for our anglers. Um, so from 1956 to about 1957, it ran almost exclusively as a fishing camp or a fishing club. Um, catching fish was an easy thing to do. Um, serving it was a little bit harder. So in, in 1957, they decided they would turn it into a restaurant. So we had fishing and then the ability to catch their fish, clean it and cook it, but they didn't have anywhere to stay. So during that time, the hotel kind of evolved into almost a fishing camp and we originally opened with six guest rooms. Um, today, we're a little bit different. We're 75 rooms, we're on 14 acres of property. Fishing still is a fairly popular thing here at the hotel. Um, we have a gigantic sand flat in front of the hotel and we offer some of the island's best bone fishing, uh, mostly with flies, right here from our beach. Uh, we also have Robinson's Marina, which is just around the corner from us. And we do have four or five boats that we use regularly out of Robinson's. Um, which will take you out to the deep sea grounds. Unlike a lot of locations where you have to actually motor for some time, you're actually about four miles into the water. You're at something called the edge, and that's where the deep sea fishing begins. Probably our best fishing is actually Challenger Banks, which is about 13 and a half miles out. And then about 28 miles out is an area called Argus Tower, which is also a very popular fishing bank and fishing grounds. So still today, if you charter a boat and go out and catch some fish, bring it back and we'll cook it up for you for dinner. So it's kind of neat that direction. The resort itself has, has obviously changed over time. Um, in the late 60s, Port Royal Golf Course, uh, which is a Robert Trent Jones facility and actually home of the PGA Grand Slam, that is next door to us. We had joined that particular property. So a lot of our business uh, is gone, especially kind of in our, what we traditionally call our off season, uh, is gone into the fishing side as well as the golf side. So that's quite popular. Also other amenities at the hotel, we have a wonderful oceanfront spa, uh, there's a couple swimming pools, there's three 24 hour a day hot tubs. Um, so it's very convenient for folks. Uh, if they're looking to go on a fishing excursion, um, we have shuttles that will take you to and from that location, which is again, Robinson's Marina. So we certainly cater to all types of, of folks. Uh, in particular, again, fishing is, is, is a prime. Bermuda itself has some of the best deep sea fishing grounds in the world. Um, there's something called the Big Game Classic, which is a tournament that is over the kind of the 4th of July weekend time frame. And uh, the Big Game Classic is when you catch the largest marlin on one particular day. And then it's a bunch of light tackle things with wahoos and some different fish that, uh, that they're catching. And certainly if Bermuda boats don't win, Bermuda boats are always in the world's top catches. Uh, whether it be size or certainly in the marlin category. So it's a, it's a wonderful island. Uh, there's a lot to see and do. Um, for those of you who don't know Bermuda, we're only 21 square miles. We're about 600 miles off North Carolina. So we're not in the Caribbean, which a lot of people think. Um, and we have the world's most northern coral reefs. Um, so it's an absolutely oasis out here. It's, it's literally that. It's a, it's a little speck of land, again, 21 square miles. We're a mile and a half wide at the widest point and about 22 miles long. Um, so everywhere that you are on the island, you're fairly close to the water. Uh, again, fish, you're talking um, our prime fish are marlins in the summertime, as well as wahoos, tunas, and mahi-mahi. That's probably our most popular or most plentiful fish. Within the reef line, there is a lot to see and do as well. Um, there's obviously fantastic snorkeling, but for those looking to uh, catch the fish instead of look at them, we have several reef fishing boats that we use, and they'll go out between one and about five miles off the island. And you're catching things like snappers and yellowtails and uh, porgies, um, some groupers, um, some bonitas, quite a, quite a variety of fish, and it's very plentiful. The reef fishing in particular is very, very plentiful year-round. 
deep sea fishing is probably at its best from May through the end of October. Uh, and it kind of coincides with the water being a little bit warmer. So uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. Uh, a lot of fun. And uh, certainly if you're down for a holiday, take a couple days, do some fishing, take a couple days, do some exploring. On the island itself, there's wonderful things to see and do. For a, for a small island, we have a wide variety of activities. Anything from parasailing to scuba diving, obviously fishing, but uh, we have historic forts. There's an area just around the corner from us that's the Bermuda Railway Trail, which is an old area that used to have uh, trains and now it's paved and for people that want to go for a nature walk, it's fantastic. Um, there's some world-class shopping in downtown Hamilton. Uh, to get around down here, we actually don't rent cars. Uh, we drive on the left side of the road. Uh, one of the most convenient ways uh, is to rent scooters. And if you wanted to do that, we have a scooter location right here at the property. Um, other than that, we have a wonderful public bus system. The buses go by our front entrance gate every 12 minutes. And there's also something called the Rockaway Ferry Dock and the ferry service uh, operates directly across into Hamilton and that actually goes about 14 times a day. So uh, it, it's actually convenient to get around down here even without the, uh, the use of an automobile which I know a lot of people are, are used to from back home. Uh, we do drive on the left hand side of the road and sometimes it's a good thing that we don't rent cars. Um, but it's a, it's a remarkable island. It, the people down here are unbelievable. Um, I'm originally from Boston. I've lived down here for 25 years. Uh, my wife is Bermudian, so I actually have uh, status or citizenship through that. Uh, and it's just a great place to live. And, and the neat thing about Bermuda is a lot of people like to go to places that's different. Certainly Bermuda would be one of those. But the good news here is that we're not that different. Our infrastructure is definitely first class, you know, whether it be internet or cell phones. And, and the island is the second highest per capita income in the world. So it's fun to be different, but not sometimes fun to be third worldy. And I think that was what the charm of Bermuda is. Uh, pink pastel colored buildings, uh, you know, all our white roofs. Um, it's just really a tropical oasis in the middle of the Atlantic. So if you haven't had a chance to come down here, especially if you're on the east coast of the US, it's an hour and 25 minute flight. So it's the most convenient thing. You kind of sit in your seat, put your seatbelt on, and next thing you know, you're landing here in Bermuda. So again, so close, because it's not very far away and yet so different because it is British heritage. So we invite you all to come down. We'd love to have you here. I think you'll find that it's some world-class fishing and you'll also find the facilities and amenities both here and on the island as second to none. So come and visit us here in Bermuda.